everyone. I am outside Savi's workshop and I am about to build a lightsaber. So I'm super excited. I think I'm going to build the protection and defense. I think that's the one I want to build. I'm going to see if they have my pieces because I've been told that they actually might be out of the pieces that I want to build. So fingers crossed that I can build my lightsaber that I want to build. So catch me inside while I go ahead and build it. Welcome all. I do apologize for rushing you all in so soon, but with the First Order's presence, it's very difficult to stay out of trouble. But you all came in at a good time. We have been waiting for this very <coughs> moment. So look around you. Beautiful, isn't it? Speechless, I know. But to us, this is everything. But where are my manners? To my left, I have Freddy, and to my right, I have Morgan. Oh yeah! yeah. Chassis. You want to make sure that the hollow edge and vent windows are facing upwards. Next, you'll notice there's a center chamber. And if you push up on that center chamber, you'll notice there's a spring pad. What you are going to do next is you're going to grab your kyber crystal. Make sure one of the pointed ends are pushing up against that spring pad as your kyber crystal stands up straight from point to point in that center chamber. Now this is by far the most difficult step when creating your lightsaber. So if you need any assistance, feel free to ask one of my fellow gatherers for help. Now you'll know if it's in properly, so if your kyber crystal begins to glow, and it should also hum back to you temporarily. If your kyber crystal is in that center chamber and it doesn't glow, please let one of us know immediately. It's absolutely crucial that we get this particular step done right. Alright, I am seeing a lot of kyber crystals glow. I believe we can move on over to the next step. Next, we're going to move all the way to the right towards slot number 5. All the way to the right towards slot number 5. Slot 5 will take activation points. You're going to choose one of the two pairs of activation points from slot 5. One of the two pairs, and do not mix and match those pieces. So go ahead and choose your favorite pair from slot number 5. Now once you have your favorite segment of activation plates, look underneath them. You'll notice that one of them will have a red square on the side, and the other one will have a blue rectangle. If you look at the side of the center chamber of your chassis, you will notice a familiar red square and a familiar blue rectangle. Just like a matching game, match the red square from your activation plate directly over the red square on the side of the center chamber. Once they are touching, push, and it should snap into place. Then go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Make sure the blue rectangle of your second activation plate goes directly over the blue rectangle on the side of the center chamber. Once you have both your activation plates in, get your activation switch and slide it up. You should hear a misfire fan. If you slide it up and do not hear anything, it will not let us go immediately. And I did hear a couple misfires. So I believe we can move on over to slots one and slots two. Slots one and two will contain the sleeve. You can choose any two out of the four sleeves for slots one and two. Any two out of the four, and you can mix and match with pieces. We're doing, I'm sorry, say that again, please. You're going to move to slots one, two. One, two out of the four. Two of your favorite ones. Now, something to keep in mind is that one of your sleeves is going to go on top of the center chamber, and one's going to go on the bottom. But, may I have your attention, please? All of your sleeves will have a thicker, wider metal band. Regardless of that thicker, wider metal band, is silver, chrome, bronze, or gold. Make sure that thicker, wider metal band is always touching the center where your activation plates are located. Once they are touching, push and twist towards the center until they're fully secured. Good. Remember, for slots one and two, you're choosing any two out of the four. You'll notice that all of your sleeves will have a thicker, wider metal band. Make sure that thicker, wider metal band is always touching the center. Once it's on top of the hallway, twist it until it fully secures. 
No pressure required. No, you're And once your emitter is fully secured, grab your belt and flip it upside down. So the exposed power cell side is facing upwards. You are then moving on over to slot four and you choose one of the two end caps. Similar to the last one, once you have your favorite end cap, place it on top of the exposed power cell side of your chassis. Once you have it up there, twist it until it's fully secured. Just like the last step, no pressure is required. And once your end cap is fully secured, your hilt should be built and you go ahead and place in the stand right in front of you for a gatherer to inspect your work. We'll also be coming by if you need any additional assistance. Are we satisfied with our bill? Do I have all my pieces? Oh, perfect. It looks like you have everything. Perfect. Excellent. May I take a look and make sure everything's all good to go? Thank you. Oh, of course. An elegant foundation. Excellent performance. Well done. Thank you so much. Oh, of course, of course. To activate it, you want to get your activation switch and slide it up. To deactivate it, slide it down. I'll let you know when it's time to activate. Wonderful okay. job. Perfect. Place your hand on the hilt, focus, and activate. Raise your lightsabers. You have just built a lightsaber like the Jedi and Sith that have come before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Now raise them high and raise them proud. Be proud of your work. Excellent work, builders. You may now lower and deactivate your sabers. The bond is now complete. And thank you, builders. You're just as unique and extraordinary as the sabers you hold in your hands. In your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power. Yay! Here's my lightsaber. She's done. And yes, my lightsaber is a girl. My protection in the fence purple and gold my favorite so i appreciate you watching my video as i assembled my lightsaber and i'm just so happy <laughs> so go ahead and comment below if you went ahead and built a lightsaber and go ahead and check out my instagram page <laughs> have a great day bye